Hello, I'm Zach Belmont. And I'm Nathan Osborne. Today we're going to be talking about a recent controversy in the book Looking for Alaska. This controversy involves a scene where two kids do something that is inexplicable and they don't feel like this is appropriate for their kids. Even though almost every 11th grader has probably encountered or knows what this is. Yes. So, we're here to tell you that that is a bunch of crap. We believe this because since everyone at their age should probably know about that by then, and if they don't, then... They are very these, immature. These, this school has given them the opportunity to read something else if they're not comfortable with reading it. Even though they had the choice to read something else, they didn't. Their parents were very immature about this topic. Some parents felt that if their kids shouldn't read it, why should the other kids get to read it? And they felt that that was their decision, and that's what they made a big stand about. Recently, the author, John Green, stated his side of the story and how that this is just wrong because his book is not pornographic and it is not okay to be shaming from students their age. They should have the right to know if they want to read it or not. This book can relate to almost every 11th grade student and every 11th grade student should be mature enough to handle the book and if they are not then they shouldn't be able to read it and they should read the other book. But the parents were so immature about it they didn't even let them. Though I did not like the book these students should be able to have their own opinion, and that's what they should be learning, for real. They should be able to decide if they like the book or if they don't, and if it is pornographic or not. I feel like teachers should be able to let their students decide that. So basically, every student should have the privilege of reading Looking for Alaska because high school requires maturity, and so does this book. And if you're, if you're not mature by the time you're in high school, you shouldn't be able to read this book anyways or be in high school so there shouldn't be a problem with teachers and students reading this book. That's it for our Looking for Alaska vlog.